Hi everyone, it's Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today we're going to be looking at another custom action I created for the Ragdoll Hit Reaction Manager. Now, this is a Ragdoll Manager to, well, as it says, manages your Ragdoll and can do some different kinds of hit reactions. Now, I've had a request for a physics based hit, and I've gone ahead and created a new project, imported Playmaker, imported the Ragdoll Manager. Now, you should never import this Ragdoll uh, Hit Reaction Manager straight into your project because it's going to add a bunch of layers and things like that that you may not want. So I suggest you load it into a new project first and practice there and see what you want out of it. So I've gone ahead to the project, opened up Ragdoll Manager, and I am looking at a pre-made scene, the example scene, for Rigid Body Collision. Now, in this scene, let me just remove what I've done here. In this scene, we've got a, an example ragdoll already set up, which we're going to use. And I've disabled all of these cubes that fall on the head. I've just kept these um, spheres that fall. So let's play and see what happens. And so currently, this. Uh, sphere on the right hand side, let me go to the scene view, uh, has a mass of 100 so it, it does make him go a little bit crazy here. So let's turn down the, the mass of it and just turn it down to 5 and we'll see what happens when it hits him on the head. And you can see it just has a minor reaction so the amount of mass affects the uh, reaction of the hit doll of the hit doll manager. So you can see how this is all set up here. I'm not going to go over it. They go over it in their own tutorials. But uh, basically you just want to copy these settings and you can change the resistance and the tolerance to the hits here. Now for the playmaker side of things, right now this is uh, the object that's hitting the character is using a script called rag doll or sorry rigid body collider and we're going to just remove this script because we're going to use Playmaker instead. So if we remove it and we play, when the object hits the character, nothing happens. So we're going to change that. So we're going to go to the object that's doing the hitting and we're going to add a new FSM. And I've created a new action for this and you can download it. I have the link for it below in this uh, YouTube video. And the action is called Enable Ragdoll Collision. So you're just going to double click to add this. Now the game object is the owner, which is the sphere. And the collision type, we have different options here. We have Enter, Stay, Exit, and Particle. So currently this on controller collider hit does not work. So if you choose this, nothing's going to happen. So the most common one we're probably going to use is on collision enter. Now the hit interval is how often it's going to hit. Because we're just doing one hit for collision enter, we're just going to leave it as one. We want to set the mass multiplier to one, so it would be one times five, because this rigid body has a mass of five. If we wanted to double the mass to make a more dramatic hit, we could say times by two. If you have it set to zero, zero times five is zero, so there will be no mass at all, nothing will happen. So let's set this to 2. We can optionally store the collider. Uh, so we can say, we'll just say hit, and we can store the force if we need to know it after. And let's set an event that triggers so we can go to the next state once this happens. So being hit, And so now it should flow to the next state when this has happened. Let's hit play and see. And so as you can see, it's added 10 force here. And if we check back to the state, we can see that it saved the hit collider, which was the spine. It saved the force. And everything seems to be working properly. So we could even go, what if we gave him times 5? So 5 times 5 is 25. So that's quite a bit of mass. And as you can see, the character's gone much farther. 
So using the collider, it will automatically detect which part of the body it's hit and at what angle, and it will apply the uh, physics appropriately automatically. So this is how you use the uh, enable ragdoll collision action.